Hi, I'm Sarah and you're watching Can Sarah DIY It. Today I am hosting, like I do every month, the Power Up collab with my dear friend Zaina from OK At Home DIYs. And I built a base for the very first time for this awesome filing cabinet. <laughs> I don't know if you can totally tell in this lighting, but it is this awesome, deep, dark green color um, called Jacob's Well. It's um, the brand Melange Paints and it's their one line, which means it's all in one. They have the primer, the paint and the top coat all in one. Now I'm painting on metal here, so I did do a primer, but <laughs> I am so happy with the color and I'll post pictures so that you can see the color really well um, under my little pegboard oh, oh, that I did on the last Power Up collab. Um, I didn't use a ton of power tools today, but I'm really, really excited about this project. I did, like I said, build a base for the first time. So make sure you check out the playlist. I'm going to link it in my um, description box. Check out all of the um, different videos for everyone participating. We've got a nice group this um, month and make sure that you comment in everyone's description or everyone's, um, on everyone's videos so that you can be entered to win the $25 gift card to Amazon. Like we do every month, we have a gift away and, um, yeah, you, we, you'll find out more. You're going to find out my secret word later on in my video. Okay. All right. So let's get into let's get into the video. Do you want to see how I built the base? You want to see all the nitty gritty, all everything? Okay, ready? One, two, three, let's go! I've had this filing cabinet for many years. I had it at the yarn shop which I had for a decade. So it has been sitting in this room since then. I think it, <laughs> I thought it was ugly and have wanted to either chuck it or um, try and upgrade it. And that is exactly what I did. So first thing I did was get a set of legs from Amazon and I will definitely be linking the legs and the paint in the, oh, and the paint brushes that I used um, in the description box. So you'll have access to that. And I will um, let you know like, materials that I use, but I didn't use that much. This was an easy project. And I am like pretty impressed with myself because it's the first time I have built a base. So how I built the base, um, I, I got the legs and I didn't want to try and drill into the actual cabinet itself because it's metal. So I um, got some really good advice from a friend, Tiffany from Broke Girl Aesthetics. She's my buddy and we brainstorm a lot together. So she said, why don't you build a base with some plywood or MDF, something like that. And I was like, okay. So I measured my piece, it's 18 by 36. And I went to the hardware store, I got a piece of plywood and I had them cut, cut it down to the measurements that I needed it. It was super easy. <laughs> The plywood was eight dollars and ninety four cents. We got everything we need to build the base, plus a little extra for our fairies. Yeah. <laughs> and I have my daughter Charlotte here helping me, right, honey? Yep. I'm right here. <laughs> hey. Bushkana, bushkana. Ah! I think my mom speaks a different language. You speak a different language. Yeah, probably, but yeah, we got some water. Boop. All right, get in, get bubbles. Yep. So we are getting into the car. My mom's gonna hold the phone. We got everything we need and it is perfection. Uh, sorry. Oh, <laughs> here. Are you still filming? Yeah. Well, I had to like lay everything out and measure it so that it would um, fit. I wanted to put the legs in just a little bit because I was worried about the weight of the filing cabinet <laughs> standing on these four little legs. So I did move them in um, maybe a little less than an inch and I used a very reliable measuring 
Technique uh, popsicle stick, an oversized um, tongue depressor. <laughs> anyway, um, I used, it was consistent. <laughs> so I made little lines and then I marked where I needed to drill holes. I drilled those holes and then um, screw in the screws and my legs were set. Well, I can't lift this filing cabinet, it's too heavy. So I brought in my buddy, my pal, my personal trainer, Chelsea. Chelsea is awesome. If you want her information, if you live near me and you wanna train with somebody who's super awesome, very motivating and really invested in her clients, private message me, I will give you her contact information. She's awesome and she has helped me so much. Chelsea, say hi. So she helped me get it onto the base. Basically, I needed help getting the uh, filing cabinet onto the base. Once I got it onto the base, it was just about painting it. Okay, I can let you in there. Okay. So what I just need you to do is push it, just so that as I come up, push it onto the thing. Push it. <laughs> I don't know who you think is. Right here. I got it! Okay. Uh, uh. You gotta push it back under this. No. <laughs> Alright, put the thing where you Okay. Are you sure you want me to be on that? I feel like I should be on the dolly side. I kind of. You gotta pull it away from the wall. Yeah, I was gonna say, I feel like it, it needs to be a little away from the wall, period, because I gotta paint it. Let's just put it here. Oh, Lordy. Oh, I can't believe I survived that. She doesn't like hugs. Thank you, Chelsea. Ooh, you smell good. Thanks. What I'm applying here is called edge banding. It's a really thin piece of wood that you iron on. The heat um, activates the adhesive that's on the back side of the edge banding, and it just makes the plywood have a nice finish and uh, a surface for me to apply paint to. So I am just applying this around the edge of the plywood piece that I attached the legs to. Now, I had some concerns about painting on metal. I've not painted chalk paint, furniture paint, mineral paint on metal before. But from the videos that I've seen, what you wanna do is kind of like painting your nails. You don't wanna do a thick coat, you wanna do many thin coats. So I did about three, maybe three and a half thin coats of paint. But before I did that, I took a bin primer and I rolled that on. I actually rolled on all of my coats of paint and then did a little bit of touch-ups with a couple different brushes, a zebra fan brush and um, a plaid like oversized paintbrush. So that is about all I did. Mother. <clears throat> happened to me the last time I could not get it open because it's taped and I was trying so hard and then I realized it was taped it has nothing to do with my ability to open things look how easy it opens when it's when you take the and look at the color look at that is that beautiful okay the paint that I used is a melange paint called One by Melange, and the color I used is Jacob's Well. It's a beautiful color. It's a deep, deep green. I keep calling it like an inky green. I just love it, and I think it really marries well with the um, very pale, pale teal green that I have on my walls, um, and I put it under my pegboard, which you see behind me. It's not quite finished yet, but it's looking pretty good. Um, I still have to put up a lot of the accessories and the accoutrement that goes with with it. So um, yeah, I'm starting to feel like my craft room is coming together and I'm really excited about the way it's looking. But um, <laughs> I'm gonna wait a little while and see how the finish 
endures. I don't want to put anything on it just yet. I, I just finished it. Like I just finished it. Um, the one paint by um, Melange says that it has a top coat built in, in my opinion. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to do like a polyurethane, um, top coat on it because, because it's metal, I feel like it's going to scrape off. Even though I did the primer, I'm, I'm nervous about that. So I think I'm going to do a polyurethane top coat on top of what I already did. Uh, so TBD, I'll let you know. I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it and I love my, uh, power up crew. Aren't they incredible? I mean, I get inspired by them. Every, every month when we do these um, collaborations, I get inspired by my, my group of ladies. And we've got new people joining each month, which is so exciting. My secret word this month is reciprocating saw. I don't have a reciprocating saw. I'm not 100% sure what a reciprocating saw is. But now I need to figure it out. And I need to go get one. And I need to try and use it. Because... <laughs> Oh, I'll tell you what I did get. Okay, so I did, I went and bought a, a, a nail gun. Like I have a Brad nail gun, but I went and got a Hardy nail gun. After putting up this and I used my buddy's nail gun in my last power up video, if you haven't seen it, it was March's power up video. I, I built this, um, this pegboard and my buddy came over and he had a nail gun and I used it to put this up. And I was like, oh, I want one. So I went and bought one. Yay! <laughs> anyway. Um, so thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you got inspired to try something new. I now love my filing cabinet. So make sure that you're subscribed, hit the bell button so that you get notified when I go live. I do go live on Tuesdays and Wednesday nights, depending on the week <laughs> and follow me on Instagram. Yada, 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 da, 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 da. Okay. Make sure to try something new and challenge yourself. Get outside your comfort zone. Okay. Have a wonderful week. Goodbye.